people. Sure. So, and what and what has you worried and what can we do to help? Yes. Um, I hope I can transfer to my brother's hospital. His hospital in Mount Sinai, main campus in Manhattan. I'm in Hackensack Hospital, New Jersey right now. But in over the last one week, it has been a hell. So you've been in there a week, it's been hell, and you're in isolation, right? Isolation, I understand. But the, the treatment I received, and uh, they are not professional. They're not up to date. I told them have to follow Chinese guidelines. My boss is also a physician. He even translates into English, saying it to the doctor here. One of the doctors, she read it, and then she agreed to add medications, and then they uh, agreed to uh, to check a CT again. In the beginning, they just treat me like no normal flu. They say I'm young, I'm not gonna die, but they don't know the truth about Corona. Uh, my so brother said there's two strain, two different strain. One is deadly one. Maybe I'm the unlucky one to get a dead, uh, get a, get a deadly one. And uh, while I'm in this hospital, ER, they put me on isolation. They think I'm like an animal. They are afraid to approach me. They're afraid to approach you? They're treating you like an animal there? And you're at Hackensack Hospital, just in case people want to advocate for yes. you? Yes. The, the, the nurse in the ER, they come in to check vitals. They just tell me to look into the wall. Don't look at them. And they let me sleep on stretchers for three days before a nice nurse to change a regular okay. hospital bed for me. Wow, I'm and so sorry to hear it. that. So, so let me just um, let me just pause you there for a second to make sure you catch your breath and stuff. Okay. Um, so essentially, you've been in there a week, correct? And your family's in isolation, right? My family's in isolation. Yes. Okay, and. Um, so you, you've got this situation where you're very concerned about your lungs, right? And they're saying that they may have to intubate you soon, correct? Yes, I'm, I'm almost there. And here they don't know. They still think I'm okay. I told them follow the Chinese guideline. I have a lot of Chinese uh, providers here, over thousands. They also try to call here. And the doctor in China also gave me advice. In the beginning, they never listened to me, and uh, they don't want to repeat CT. Finally, they repeat today, and then they see worsening, very worsening. So it's worsening, and your lungs are getting worse, right? And we've yes. tagged the drug companies in here, so if everybody can let the drug companies know and voice voice your support for James, you know, something like hashtag, you know, get James the drugs or something like that, because him and his family want the drugs. Again, this isn't what Bill or anybody wants. We're just communicating here uh what it is that james and his family want um and so and, yeah and i don't think they really understand what's going on so i my brother in the mount sinai main compass he understand he will advocate for me here they don't so i really want to go to my brother's hospital that's main reason mount sinai main compass and the drugs I only need those two things. Okay. I don't know how many days I can last. I really hope those two things happen. I only 32. I have 90 years of grandpa, grandma, and uh, my baby daughter, not even two. So please help me. I want to transfer to Mount Sinai, Mean Compass, so my, heart, my brother can be an advocate. And help me. That's my last chance. Well, I'm so sorry that you're going through this, James. And we have literally thousands of people watching this. Um, and I think you're going to see people uh, be, uh, you know, supporting you and getting the message out there. Can you show the, the, the hospital room that you're in and the isolation just to give people some context? <sighs> And that's and they have you there in isolation, right? And there's no nurses around, no doctors. Nurses outside. Okay. 
All right. Well, we're going to, we're going to let you go, but uh, let's everybody hashtag get James the meds. And, uh, and let me, let me transfer. Transfer. And get you, get, yeah, get you transferred. Because sometimes the meds doesn't really work. So I'm going to be intubated. I don't trust here. I don't trust my brother. How to save me in ICU. Okay. Well, we're going to, we're going to go. We're going to let you go. Breathe up, get some rest, and we're going to uh, try to patch in your brother here and see if he'll speak with us, okay? And I almost died two days ago. My, my, my oxygen was descending to 80. I had to use my nose to get the oxygen. Okay. And uh, nobody come in. Okay. Just, well, make, yeah. sure you're, make sure you're getting to those nurses and doctors, and we'll, uh, we'll get to work to get the message out for you, okay? Okay. All right, James, you take care of yourself. We'll be praying for you. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you.